Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today is a wonderful, wonderful day because the love of my life, the yin to my yang, the apple of my eye, and the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and all that jazz is back from the vet and she did a wonderful, wonderful job there. Yeah, right now she's extra loving and extra affectionate because Dr. Francis pulled out these tooth fragments out of Lucy's skull just yesterday. Look at those, those things are very, very sharp. And that's the reason why she's had such a swollen front upper left quadrant. The poor girl, every time she's been eating, these fragments are just inside of her gums. It makes me cringe to think about it. But fortunately for Dr. Francis at Francis Animal Hospital off of Woodward, he took good care of it. And she is just absolutely lovable right now and just very, very happy, I think, to have the pain out of her skull. Right, Lucy? So yeah, she's kind of drooling right now with uh, enthusiasm, I would call it. <laughs> And I'm really enthusiastic to have her back. I was super concerned about her potentially having cancer, but after they removed the fragments, it looked like that there was no visible evidence of cancer. So we're gonna do a follow-up in three more days, and that's just wonderful. Dr. Francis did an amazing job taking care of uh, my most favorite thing in the world. So if this is the first time you've tuned in my channel, uh, Lucy is my manager of this channel. She's responsible for all the backline stuff, the purrs, the snuggles, the emotional support. The purrs, by the way, go a very, very long way. You might not hear them, but they're very, very subtle, and they add a certain sort of je ne sais quoi to my channel. Over here, yeah. So I'm incredibly happy that she's finally back home. It's only been a day. I dropped her off on Sunday. All day Monday she was there at the vet, and then it's Tuesday night. It's like 11 o'clock on Tuesday right now and I'm exhausted. Uh, I woke up this morning and I went to the dentist myself today, Lucy, yeah. I went to the dentist and they finally fixed my tooth. I've been going to the dentist for the past four weeks to try to get the same tooth fixed, but each time something goes wrong or they have to get another x-ray or they're like, oh, this is just an office visit, come back next week. And I'll get into details, but it's been crazy. But now it's finally fixed. Lucy's teeth are finally fixed. Our teeth are doing good right now. That's wonderful. Oh yeah, and if you're new to my channel also, you have to know that I post way too much here on YouTube. I post every single day about whatever's on my mind, and it's a lot to digest. Usually it's not just about Lucy the cat coming back home from the vet, but it's about a bunch of different other things. So check out my playlist section. I've organized everything there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Oh, I do post a weekly circus and flow arts tutorial video, so I can teach you how to teach yourself how to do the art of contact juggling, which you see right here is performed with an acrylic sphere. Contact juggling is juggling while you stay in contact with the object you're manipulating. It's a very fun hobby. It's very relaxing. It's very rewarding. It's good for your circulation, coordination, concentration, and other things that begin with the letter C as well. So please check out my Circus and Flow Arts playlist here on my channel, as well as my Contact Juggling Tutorials playlist to know more about how to do these Circus and Flow Arts. You can also check out all the other playlists I have. I'm not just doing circus and floor tutorials. I am touching on many different subjects, many different categories, many different topics, and you're sure to find something that will pique your interest in my playlist section. But for right now, I'm just rejoicing over the fact that my cat is home safe, looks like she's gonna be cancer free, and it just, it, it puts so much at ease in my heart. I've been just dreading calling the vet for the past couple days, not even wanting to know. I wanna know, but you, you know, you, you're kind of waiting for the phone call. But I broke today and I had to call him earlier and he said to go and pick her up around 9 or 10. So I went to the vet this morning and then I went disc golfing right after the vet with an old friend of mine. We caught up on some things and that was really, really good way to spend some time getting out some fresh air. I've been working so much I needed to do something outside and it was really good that I did that with a really wonderful friend of mine too. So thanks very much Alexander, it was great to hang out with you today. And then after disc golf I came back here at home and I started cleaning out Lucy's litter box. I started vacuuming the floors, getting things tidied up for her arrival back home today. And I've been neglecting my house so much lately. It's just not because I've been not wanting to do the work. I've been wanting to do it, but I just haven't had the time. And when you're exhausted and all you can do is film your YouTube videos and go to bed, then that's what you're doing instead of cleaning your own house. Probably not the healthiest decision, but it's livable. It's just not as clean as I would like it to be. All right, folks, that's a wrap for this video. Lucy's back home from the vet and she's doing good. That's wonderful. And everything's all right. She's back home now. The world's back in balanced. Things are going to work out. She's going to get a nice retirement home because it looks like I'm closing in on my new home I'm going to buy. I should get the keys on August 5th, provided that I get the funding for it. It looks like it's going to go through just fine. We're pretty excited. So Lucy, you'll have a wonderful new retirement home to move into. We will both be uh, in a better situation overall, healthier environment, and I'm really looking forward to that, not just for myself, but also for 
my most favorite thing in the world, Lucy the cat. So thanks for tuning in, folks. I'll leave you with these words that I've been ending all my videos with lately. Never give up, do your best, stay true to you, and be amazing, folks. All you gotta do is just be the best version of yourself and you'll be amazing. Thanks for watching my video, folks. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.